Today we're talking about how to generate QR codes and Bitly links. My name is Rebecca Simons and welcome to the Educate community. A QR code, which stands for Quick Response Code, is a 2D barcode that directs viewers to a specific URL when scanned. A bit.ly is a link shortener that takes long URLs and shrinks them into smaller ones, providing easier access to the content. Both options allow you to directly link viewers to anything with a URL. So think not only websites and YouTube videos, but also anything that lives in your Google Drive. QR codes and bit.ly's have become increasingly popular in education, especially since the pandemic. They not only simplify accessing complex links, but they're easy to create and share. They take viewers directly to specific materials, and they have the ability to make learning more dynamic and interactive. So you can make a QR code or bit.ly link for anything with a URL. And since the pandemic, we're all pretty comfortable with using them. But how do you go about making them? And the easiest way to create a QR code is to click on the share icon in the Omni box, then click create QR code. Once you click download, you can insert the PNG image into your slide deck, Google Doc, or wherever you're wanting to use it. For example, if I wanted to add this code to the title page of my slide deck, I would click on insert image upload from computer, and select my QR code from my downloads folder. If you want the ability to customize your QR code, I really like this site, qr-code-generator.com. I'll drop the link in the description below. Once you've created an account, you can create QR codes for free and customize the frame, shape, and color. If you want an even higher level of customization, they do have paid levels. The last option is what I use to create bit.ly links, but it also allows you to create QR codes simultaneously. And that's the bit.ly Chrome extension. I'll also put the link for this in the description below. Once you've downloaded the extension, simply navigate to the URL you want to create a bit.ly or QR code for and click on the extension icon. When you click create link, you have the ability to add a title and customize the back half of your bit.ly. From here, you can copy your bit.ly and generate a QR code. One feature I really like about this extension is that you don't have to download the QR code to use it. You can simply right click and select copy image. Now, occasionally I get the question about when should I use a QR code versus a bit.ly? And I feel like the best practice is to get in the habit of providing both. QR codes are perfect for phones and tablets, while I prefer to use a bit.ly if I'm at my computer. If you get in the habit of providing both, everyone has easy access to your content, no matter what. There are so many amazing ways you can incorporate QR codes and bit.ly's into your classroom. I would highly encourage you to take a few minutes to check out our QR code explore board that's linked in the description below. It has 15 ideas on how you can start using QR codes in your classroom today. Thanks for joining us at the Educate community today. If you're using bit.ly's or QR codes in your classroom, we'd love to hear about how you're using them in the comments down below. Want more tips and tutorials on all things EdTech? Then be sure to check out our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified each time we post new content. See you next time.